Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jeremy and Movies and Terrible, and I am excited to welcome back special guest Holden Harmon. Thank you so much for having me. It's good to be back here in Jeremy's studio. This is a tier list video, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, and this is the third that we've done into this series. It's, it's a slight spin. <laughs> it's a slight uh... spin. <laughs> Oh my god, I can edit it out afterwards. It's a slight spin on the regular uh, tier list with a couple little extra layers to it. First of all, we've got about 15 franchise movies that we're doing on this particular video. We're gonna choose 10 and then yeah. we're going to put them on the tier list. And hold on, there's a there's a special way that we have to do this. Yeah, so you've been doing it your, the Jeremy way. The special way. Where we, ha we have to place two franchises mm -hmm. in each tier. If we had just like a, a list of all greats, we couldn't just put them all like all in A and S. We have to choose others. I which... feel like that went really, really well on the last franchise yes. video and terribly on the director video. The director one was very difficult. <laughs> it was a nightmare. The franchise one, there was definitely more like room to like, okay, this is clearly not as good. The director one, because we had like a list of all greats, yeah. you know, in franchises, there's a little bit more wiggle room. Pick number one, here we go. Nolan Batman. Starting strong, Love starting him. strong, here we go. All great. Pick number two. We still got Marvel, we still got Star Wars, we still got Jurassic, Raimi, Spider-Man, let's see what oh, happens. Those are all good ones. Oh man, X-Men. Okay. X-Men. Pick nice number three. <laughs> Fast Furious, okay. <laughs> All right, got one of those. All right, here we go. Pick number four. Pick number four. Uh, here we go. Marvel. Had to happen, man. Had yeah. to eventually happen. Planet of the Apes is broken. What did Ho why do I have Hollywood blockbuster? Oh, I see. I got the title as one of the, <laughs> the spots. That's oh, okay. Oh man. Oh. Let's go. Yeah. All right. It's about to get. It's about to get real messy. <laughs> I'm a big lover of Raimi Spider Man. If you didn't know. I did not know. Oh no. Come on. Oh, I've done right. seven. Okay. <laughs> I can work with that. You're probably going to be more familiar with the new stuff than I will be. I don't know if that in itself is $8.45 billion, <laughs> but let's see here. Oh. Wow. Predator? Oh. So Predator. close. Okay. So close. Okay, not bad. Uh-uh. I can still manage that. All right. Star Trek. Is the most recent movies or all we'll of them? We'll go, uh, what's the, is it Kelvin? Is that the J.J. Abrams Star Trek? I yeah, guess. We'll J.J.'s yeah. universe? Okay. Number nine. Here we go. <laughs> Should have taken it off. Apes. Planet of the Apes. Okay, so Love again, that. new Planet of the Apes. New Planet of the Apes, okay. It's fair if we're doing only new Star Trek. Yeah, so. and I don't know the old shit. All I know is Mark Wahlberg's. Okay. Ooh, and yeah. I don't want that dragging the whole thing down, so. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, Terminator, okay, okay. We've established the 10 franchises that we're choosing from. I feel pretty good yeah. about it. We got some range on them, a couple that are gonna be uh, big contenders for the top spots. It's gonna be tough. Let's see, let's see how this plays out. Here we go. We've got our tier list in front of us. We're putting two in each of the five categories. Uh, I know we got Sam Raimi, Raimi Spider-Man. Raimi. <laughs> For me, right now, 007. I'm more familiar with the original ones. You're more familiar with the new ones. For me, I'm gonna comfortably, I would comfortably put it at C for now. I think it's a good place to start it. I feel like Planet of the Apes trilogy is one of the strongest trilogies out there. I agree. Um, I, I, I already am looking a little further ahead, but I think I could say A for right now. How invested in Fast and Furious are you? Not very. So I've seen Fast 1, th one through 3 and 5 to... Hobbs and Shaw. Oh, okay. So I've seen most of them. Mm -hmm. uh, 
to me, they're very forgettable uh, action porn uh, type movies that get more absurd and ridiculous as they go along. I'm sorry if I'm speaking heresy. Um, to who? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would, for now, I would comfortably put it at C. I would even go lower than that. You would put it at D? For now, we might now. have to re reconfigure. Okay, this is a no-brainer, I feel like. Marvel, for us, it's S tier. It's the greatest franchise of all time. Yeah. There you go, guys. There you have it. We're done. Peace. <laughs> Predator. How many of those have you seen? I've seen the original two. Okay. And I've seen Alien vs. Predator. I don't think I've seen any of like the newer ones, but I've definitely seen the original few. Okay, and you like them? I really enjoyed the first one. Yeah, the first one's badass. I really enjoyed the first one. I remember the second one, I don't remember the second one all that well. I don't know if that's telling of it or what. Uh, for me, Predator, I'd probably put here around C, C or D, of, of this list. Let's put it in D and see what happens. Raimi Spider-Man Trilogy. So I, uh, luckily I'm self-aware enough to admit certain bias. Uh, I think the Raimi Spider-Man Trilogy would have been A, easily, were it not for the third one kind of dragging it down. Mm. So that While I love the movie, I can still see the faults of it. Second one is, uh, is S tier all day long. For me, uh, feel free to, to counter with me now. Uh, I I would put Spider-Man at A tier. And I know you might disagree, uh, but I'll make my case maybe as we move on. We, you know, you and I have talked about this before. The original Spider-Man is like a really, really great movie experience for it me. <clears throat> I actually prefer the original to the sequel. Really? Knowing that the sequel is probably a better movie, but yeah, it was just the first time seeing Spider-Man brought to life by Sam Raimi in that way was like a really impactful yeah. feeling. Also, my wife Victoria is not a huge fan of the superhero genre and she loves those Spider-Man movies, so I think that kind of speaks to their universal appeal. You said A? A, yeah. Um, That's where I would put it for maybe just for now if you're... Okay, yeah, let's see, what, let's see how it works out. If I didn't interject that, where would you put it? I would have put it in B, but I might move it up to A. Okay, <clears throat> so we'll leave it at A for... Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> so we'll leave it at A for now. As we move along, um, we might we might bow to the death on it. Star Trek. <laughs> Have you seen any of the Star Trek movies? <clears throat> I've seen all of Abrams' Star Trek movies. Okay. Um, and I've seen none of the originals. Uh -huh. A lot of again, kind of for me, some forgettable qualities to him. I totally I totally forgot Chris Hemsworth is even in the, oh, like, yeah. the first one. You know? Yeah. Uh, I totally forgot that Benedict Cumberbatch is Khan. Khan. Uh, for me, I'd put this probably at B for now. Okay, you're being more generous than I. I think C. You put it at C. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. I, I can I can live with C. Terminator is a great two movies and a very <laughs> ultimately mediocre franchise. So we don't have anything in B right now. You're comfortable with B? I don't. I think it's too high, man. I feel really? like James Bond has got to be higher than Terminator. Okay, you're you're more of James Bond than I am. So if you're feeling, let's slide it up and put Terminator at C. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about the X-Men movies? Uh, you know, there's a bunch of them, and some of them are good, some of them are not so good. I actually prefer, uh, First Class through... No, yeah. I don't... So, X-Men, X2, First Class, Days of Future Past, and then the other ones, yeah. you know, like... For me, it's, it's, uh, X2 is probably my favorite, uh, for, at least for the longest time. It's X2, probably X1 I love, Days of Future Past. Logan would also oh, be in this. Oh yeah, it has to be. Uh, and then you got some that just, I did not like First Class at all. I, mean, I know you did. We got some flack when we did My Friend Watches uh -huh. that, but I stick by my opinion on it. I, I felt that it, it went down in quality a little bit. How do you feel putting it at B and just looking at that list? Would you want to move anything? I don't, I don't think we could put Terminator above it. I don't think so either. As much as T1 and T2 were fantastic, the others, like you said, were kind of in that more mediocre um, side. Same thing with X-Men. I feel like you had some really great X-Men movies. You got Logan just lifting the whole franchise, you know, up at the, at the tail end there. I think um, it's worth saying while I'm looking at this right now, for me, Terminator 1 and 2 are better than any other movie on those lists. Really? Personally. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't say that for me, yeah, but I could yeah. see the argument being made for it. Uh, I Looking at this now, I'm pretty comfortable with this. Uh, a little bit more solid even than last time. I could see an argument made for flipping a couple at the bottom if you really wanted to. 
but overall uh yeah let's swap fast and the furious with predator down there in the d like i want predator first <laughs> no, I'm, just kidding. I get the list of how you read. Uh, I'm good with that i'm good with that if you are we had no conversation about marvel it was just assumed that's s tier what is there to even say like yeah. what have we got I don't 25 movies, yeah, some some like crap, that. just under 25 movies. Ending with Endgame, it, like nail hitting the landing, you know? Yeah, maybe maybe two of them are not good yeah. movies, and the best of them are phenomenal. Outstanding. Okay, so is Spider-Man one and two better than The Dark Knight and Batman Begins? I've had to. It's better than Batman Begins. Uh, I like Batman Begins a lot. No, no, no shame on Batman Begins. Uh -huh. I, I like it too. I just, uh, I don't think it had. The Dark Knight just has a feel to it yeah. that I just don't think Batman Begins had. Yeah. Um, Spider Man Two, I think, is. Uh, I, I've wrestled between Spider Man Two and uh, The Dark Knight for me, kind of always competing for number one superhero oh, in my head. Interesting. It's always kind of gone back and forth because I love, I love both the movies for different reasons. I love both of the directors for different reasons. I feel like I personally relate more towards like Sam Raimi's growth as a filmmaker than I do Christopher Nolan's, but that's bias. Strictly speaking from like movie perspective, I go back and forth. I, I don't know. I go back and forth. Um, right now it's Spider-Man 2. So your favorite two movies on the list? Well, okay. What What is your favorite movie on this list? Can you say? E either Dark Knight or Spider-Man 2. Okay. You could maybe toss in Endgame, but Endgame's only as strong as the... Well, not only as strong, but it gets its strength from its predecessors. Where Spider-Man yeah. 2 is a great film on its own. Yeah, Dark Knight's a great film on mm -hmm. its own. Yeah. Yeah, I feel good about this. I think that it's pretty, pretty uh, on time. I am a huge fan of the Planet of the Apes. Um, Same franchise I, I i find that i like the weirder int not the weirder but the ones that aren't always the favored so you like rise, rise a lot the rise. first one see and i i i thought rise was good but i really felt like they hit their stride with dawn and then war yeah i mean it's hard to deny it because it became so much more focused on the like the culture and the civilization yeah. of the apes and it was like uh freaking caesar ran the movies yeah and in every way i think uh i think story-wise i think visually the the special effects in rise weren't up to par with dawn and war definitely agreed uh it was it was just so next. I remember I watched it in theater several times, both of all of them, but especially Dawn and Moore. Uh, and it looked real. It it was one of those. A lot of the times you kind of like look, but it looked freaking real. Yeah. You know. Yeah. All right. Well, that's our takes on it. As always, we want to open the conversation up down in the comments section. This isn't some definitive list. This is just our hot initial takes on the mm -hmm. topic. I would really like to know what your tier list is. Do us a favor. Leave it down in the comments section. Um, what tier list would you like to see covered next? Yeah. I would love to kind of keep these things going. So if you enjoy it, do me a favor. Take a second to click the thumbs up button down there. Appreciate it. And also make sure that you're following Holden Hardman's YouTube channel. I'll post a link down in the description. Uh, yeah. And other than that, be terrible. <laughs>